Hey guys, so I'm on the last chair and I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to do the last weave. The last weave is different. It's not like a regular grid, pre grid pattern. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to start our, um, let me show you, verticals across the seat this way instead of doing front to back first. This is done a little uh, a little bit differently, and I wanted to document it so that you guys um, can um, check it out. And um, this is a different kind of weave. I've never done this one before, and I saw this in um, I saw this in a book somewhere, and I kind of wanted to give it give it a try. So that's what we got going on today. We are going to check out this oops. And trying to get the knots really tight, guys, is probably really tricky uh, because you want to make sure that you're pulling them as tight as you can. Okay, there we go. So the first thing we're going to do is weave this way. And this is kind of kind of the preliminary of it is to set your front to backs and you just go along this way like this okay and you kind of want to make it set your pattern for however uh, width you want your however wide you want your um, strings for your seat and that's the first thing we're gonna do all right so let me get this going and let me pause you. Okay guys, so I have the base, you went from, I went from the right to the left and wove it that way. And then I had enough, I tied it in the front right here. You can see that, let me put this down just a little bit. So we ended up right here and I tied it off. So then what I'm gonna do is I have my last one that I'm gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna um, start the new weave and I will show you when I get started so okay guys so I cut my um, my other uh, section in half and I tied it I hope you can see this so I tied it to the side and I'm bringing it down and up to give it a much cleaner uh, look so this is where it's kind of kind of going to be um, a little complicated and it's probably going to be the most time consuming because the way I want to uh, weave this it's new it's <laughs> it's a new way and I haven't done it so uh, <laughs> let's get right into this so the first thing that I want to do you can see the front right here so the first thing I need to do is take this guy so let's bring you guys in just a little bit closer okay guys so now that I have you closer the first thing I'm gonna do is this one that I ended with I want to go under it and then bring your whole your whole section of rope through it okay so it's gonna be like a it's a it's a complete uh, kind of like an interlocking kind of weave but I wanted to make sure that you guys can see this uh, so that you're not missing any of it and I got this tied, tied around the tripod leg so hold on one second guys this is a little bit tricky okay there we go okay so the first one we took our last weave right and we brought it through around and through so the next one we're just going to do the same thing you take it go up around and through see that and i have no idea what kind of weave this is guys i just kind of uh made it up it might actually be some kind of a special weave i have no idea but it looks really cool and honestly, it looks really, really strong. See that? So it kind of goes around and through. And you're going to have to make sure that you space these 
so that they're all um, within the same spacing so that your weave will, will look really good. So uh, hold on a second. I'm going to do a couple and then I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, so you can see I did one whole row and basically what it is is you take it from the front, you, oh gosh, sorry, <laughs> blooper. So you go under and go but that way <clears throat> and then you take it around uh, the next uh, vertical, go underneath and then through underneath and then up underneath and then up. So let's... Uh, See if you can see this a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm I'm looking at. So you go under, over, under, over, um, under, and then over. See that? Under and then over. And basically you just loop it around your vertical sections. So uh, I'm going to keep going and I got to go back the next way. Now the next way you go back the opposite way. So it gives you tons and tons of strength. So I'm going to keep going guys and uh, stay tuned. Okay guys. So <clears throat> I did a couple rows for you. And I'm really liking the way this looks. Um, it looks a lot more professional so basically it's just wrapped around you go um, over under over under over so you just loop around your vertical section it's really easy actually and it it feels like it's going to be pretty good strong and you can um, spread these out however wide you want this to um, to look and yeah I I don't know what this is called, but I um, I kind of did a sample the other day on another chair on the end of it because I had some extra rope, <clears throat> and I really like this. So basically, you just go um, over, and then you you bring it under, so it'll be. Let me show you. So I'll hold this one. So you just go over, under, and then you just bring it through, and then you just pull all your other rope. Uh, through it's really easy guys um, I'm really liking the way that looks um, I hope you guys can see this really well put that down uh, but I really like that I like how it looks and um, you can space these out however you would like uh, your loops you can put them um, as close or as far away as you want it and oh, it looks really good what do you guys think so this is just another option and uh, I'm going to finish it, and then when I'm done, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done, okay? Thanks, guys. Finished, and I really like this. Um, it is not as tight as the other weave, but I really like um, the look of it. I like the, way, um, I like the way it came together, and I really like how you can control the spacing on it. Now, I can scoot these over. Uh, with my fingers if I want to I can uh, I, just, I don't know I just really like this um, do you guys like this weave um, basically it's just a wrap around loop um, going across your verticals so I mean it's it's a little bit more time consuming but I really like the look of that uh, so yeah guys, so this is like another another way you can weave your chairs uh, to put a new bottom, a new seat in there. And we also have cushions that go on top of these so we won't be sitting on just the rope all the time. Uh, we have cushions in a deck box. But <clears throat> for like when just Alicia and I are sitting out here, um, we don't need to get our cushions out every single time. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, it really came together really good. Um, I really kind of, I mean, it's really neat. And you can kind of see uh, when we started, our rope is really tight, but as you work with it, um, it gets frayed a little bit. So it, uh, you can see all the little hairs um, as you work with it. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this, guys. I really like it. I hope Alicia likes it too. So. There you are guys, there's the final product. I hope you uh, I hope you really like this video. Uh, just giving you guys another idea on um, 
another pattern for the weave. So, yeah, I mean, it came together really, really, really nice. I really like it. Um, so, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.